It's the real deal. Welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. Guys, am I crazy? Am I losing it? So I've been really lucky on my Soulstone pools, or unlucky, depends how you want to look at it. But I managed to, I could fully ascend Gumaran. So hear me out, guys. This guy really has potential to be an absolute beast. So at the moment, he is one of the worst champions. He is absolute trash. However, if I could fully ascend him, he could become an absolute beast for live arena. So what I was thinking is if I could get 1k views on this video, 50k subs and say 25 comments, I will fully max this guy. I will throw books into him. I will fully gear him. I will send him and yeah, and fully awaken him. But yeah, he is, has real potential. So hear me out guys, hear me out. Let me talk you through why he could be an absolute beast. So let's uh, dig him up. He's buried somewhere deep, deep on my account. Let's change it to rarity. See if we can find him. There he is. Okay, so if we can fully, you know, fully awaken him. Polymorph. You stick Polymorph in him and he'll be an absolute beast. Of course, that 6R Ascension, you know, he won't need any accuracy. So he'll still be able to Polymorph the enemy team. So that's going to make him really strong. Um, but also, of course, as well, like I'm going to just put him in like full stone skin so he gets protection for two turns. So if the enemy does bring any strippers in, doesn't matter. We're going to cock block them and just polymorph them all day long. But also, let's just have a look at how strong that is going to be as well. So someone else that is also in the uh, Shadowkin faction, one of the strongest nukers at the moment, Harima. So Harima's got a Provoke on her A3. So if she lands that Provoke on us, we're going to Polymorph her. She's also got a decrease attack on the A1. That's another chance to have her Polymorphed. It's just so strong and so broken. So that's one of the reasons why I was thinking of doing this. But let's just go back to him as well and just look at his um, kit. So in his skills, A3 can target dead or living enemies if the target is dead places block revive this has so much potential so i don't know about you guys but the amount of times that i've stumbled across double reviver in live arena like duchess and pytheon or siffy or marichka one of the strongest support champions we could completely shut them down with this a3 so it has so much potential um what else has he got he can also revive um an ally as well you know, that's got great potential. Um, also, AoE hits as well, can still buffs. I'm not going to build him as a support. I think if I am going to build him, I think I'm going to build him as a nuka. I mean, block active skills as well is a really nice ability as well. So I'm a bit tossed up bet between the two. I could, you know, either go high accuracy and slow and just annoy people with polymorph or annoy people with polymorph and just go full nuke and potentially just drop people with the A3 and Block Revive as well. I just think this has such potential. But yeah, it's all about you guys though. Do you guys want me to make a video on the worst champion in the game? If we can reach that target of uh, 50k, sorry, 50k, 50 subs, 1k view, and 25 comments, I will definitely fully book and gear this guy out. It's all about you guys. Let me know. But I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe and maybe I'll catch you in a Gamma Run video soon. Peace.